So you finish installing Arch Linux, you've posted your rice to r slash Unix porn, and half of your contacts have blocked you after you've told them that you're running Arch by the way. Now it's time to take advantage of the best part of Arch Linux and its derivatives, the Arch User Repository, or AUR. It's very similar to overlays in Gentoo, but a little bit easier to use in my opinion. It's got many useful and popular packages that you're not going to be able to find in the official Arch Linux databases. So if you can't install a program that you want with Pac-Man, try installing it through the AUR. Anyway, let's get started with the setup. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that all of your packages are up to date. So go ahead and run Pac-Man SYU to do that. And next, you want to make sure that you have all of the necessary tools to build packages from the AUR. So you're going to want to install um, git and base devil, which includes the rest of the build tools that you'll need. Uh, chances are you might have already installed base devil if you went and installed Arch Linux the old school way through the command line. And then this part is optional, but you might also want to install a package called yay, which is pretty much like a helper for the AUR. It can assist you with things like finding packages and installing packages, uh, but I'm gonna show you how to do this first without yay and then with yay. Uh, so with the AUR, we're downloading packages in a similar way to git, in fact, it's pretty much exactly the same. That's why Git is one of the dependencies. So it's a good idea to create a folder for those packages that you're gonna download if you aren't going to use a helper, just to keep them from cluttering up your system and being in a whole bunch of random places. So this is the reason why I went ahead and created a Git folder here in my download directory. Uh, so let's go ahead and Git LibreWolf. Actually, I'm going to get LibreWolf bin so that I don't have to bore you guys with compiling a large package since LibreWolf takes just as long to compile as Firefox does. And oh, actually that just reminded me of one other thing. So since we're compiling things, it's a good idea, especially if you have a lot of CPU threads to use more of them for the compiling job. Uh, so if we go ahead and take a look at Etsy make pkg.conf with our text editor, uh, we can go ahead and change that. So this is the line here, make flags equals J4. And uh, this four, this number here stands for the number of CPU threads. So it's always gonna be an integer. I've got eight threads, so I think that four is enough. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this. I think you can also change uh, some of these other C flags, but I haven't personally played with those on Arch Linux yet. And then let's go ahead and git LibreWolf. So it's gonna be git clone https aur.archlinux.org forward slash LibreWolf bin dot git. So this URL pattern is always gonna be the same. It's always gonna be aur.archlinux.org forward slash and then whatever the name of your package is, dot git. Um, and then if you don't really know for sure the spelling or you know if it's like hyphenated or anything like that, uh, you can always just check in your browser if you go to aur.archlinux.org uh, or you could use a helper. That's one of the good things that the helpers really come in handy for as you're going to see later. All right, so let's cd into the package directory and then we're going to run make pkg. And this shouldn't take too long to run since I did download the bin. All right, there we go. And if uh, you might get an error saying that a uh, public key is unknown, if you get that, just run this command, gpg recv key, and then followed by whatever the key is. Uh, you're gonna have the key somewhere here in the output. It's gonna be like, you know, error key is invalid, something like that. 
just paste that in, rerun the uh, make package command, and then it should build no problem. So once your make package command is done, actually, let me go ahead and just clear this. You're going to have an archive file like this. This is the one that we want. Um, so you're going to basically use Pacman to install this. So just go ahead and copy that package name, and then you're going to do Pacman U, and then, oh, if I would actually type it correctly. So Pacman U, name of the package. And then it's basically just like installing a package with Pacman normally. So just go ahead and proceed with the installation. And now I have LibreWolf installed. Hey, look at that, very cool. And then of course to uninstall it, you can just do sudo pacman r and then name the package and then remove it. Now there's another way that you can actually uh, build and install the package all with one command. And the way that you would do that is from the directory that uh, you just downloaded, so the package that you just downloaded would get, you want to run make package and then SRI. So you can see, um, well, it already built it, but if I went ahead and deleted those archives and everything, it would have gone ahead and built it again. Um, and then it's telling us proceed with the installation, so yes. And then open up LibreWolf again. Hey, look at that, very cool. So I'll just uninstall one more time because now we're going to move on to doing it with Yay. Uh, now, Yay itself is an AUR package, as you saw right here. So in order to use it, you have to go ahead and install it first using the same steps that I just showed you, just obviously substitute LibreWolf bin for yay. Um, doesn't take long to install at all, so feel free to pause the video, install it, and continue. So once you have that installed, you can do things like search for packages with yay, capital S, lowercase s, LibreWolf. So this gives me all of the packages in the AUR that are relevant to my query. There's over 50,000 packages in the AUR, so multiple results for a name like that are going to be common. Um, you can also do yay si. Well, let me actually just copy this real quick. All right, so if we do yay si, then this will give you more information about the particular package. So things like, the version number, links to the source code, the licenses, the dependencies that it has, um, date that it was last modified, all that good stuff. And then of course to install a package, you can just do yay s librewolf bin. You actually don't want to run uh, yay with sudo, so just keep that in mind. And uh, oh, actually, just to show you guys that you don't have to do it from the build directory, because you don't have to use git or do any of that stuff if you're going to install with yay. So doing it from the home folder, yay s librewolf bin, and we'll do installed. So it's gonna go ahead and do its thing now. And I can run LibreWolf just like that. You can also use Yay to update all of the packages on your system, both the ones that were installed from the regular repository with Pacman and your AUR packages with the command Yay SYU. So it's a very handy utility to have. I know that. Some people switch to Arch because they want to avoid bloat and having unnecessary packages on your system. But you gotta ask yourself, is the little bit of disk space used by Yay really bloat? Would you rather save time or disk space? I know that these are all very deep, ponderous questions, so I'll leave them for you to answer. But in the meantime, like and comment to hack the algorithm, 
and have a great rest of your day.